What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. For those who are new here, hello and welcome. And for all of my returning subscribers, hey. So today we are going to be doing some more canning. I recently harvested some tomatoes, some of my larger canning tomatoes, which is the Creole type. I'll go on ahead and show you everything that I'm using here in a second. But um, yeah, so I'm doing a peach salsa because I picked up some peaches from the same local farm stand that I picked up some of my peppers from. And I just wanted to create some, you know, something that was different. I didn't want to do like regular salsa because honestly, I don't have just a ton of tomatoes coming out of the garden anyways. So salsa is something that we love. We host a lot. So it's something that I can have easily prepared for guests to snack on, etc. So real quick, I need to um, get everything prepared to put in the oven to roast a little bit. So let me show you what we got going on. She enjoys singing. All right, so in addition to like all of my tools, lids, rings, funnels, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, all of that stuff is pretty much the same. I have some cilantro soaking here. It's just been in my refrigerator for a little too long, so I just needed to rehydrate that to use later. The recipe called for one red onion, two pounds of peaches, which I have here, um, a small yellow pepper, which we got out the garden. It called for a jalapeno or a serrano or some sort of chili. I just went on ahead and grabbed a few fish peppers because I really love those. And then it calls for two pounds of tomatoes. I didn't have a full two pounds of tomatoes, so I did some of the Creole tomato tomatoes, the Creole tomatoes that we picked the other day, some cherry types, and then I'm also going to use some tomatillos. This is the Queen of Malinaco. I really like the flavor of the of these. I've had it raw already, and they're really sweet, delicious. I think it'll work perfectly for this recipe. And the recipe I did pick off of the Ball website. I will make sure I link that down below. So we are going to cut most of these things in half and put them on the sheet pan here to roast. All right, so I changed my mind. The recipe said that you can char it on the grill. I have something in my oven already, so I went on ahead, laid it all out. I'm going to let this cook for about 10 minutes or at least until we have some good color on here. So we will check back in just a moment. All right, so right now, all of our vegetables will be cooling off from the grill. I have my pot here ready to like add all the contents in. My jars are warming up already. So right now, as this stuff cools off, I'm going to clean up my mess, put my daughter down for a nap. I got to run to the store and grab some lime juice and lemon juice, so I'm going to do that. And by the time I get done doing all of that, these vegetables should be cooled enough for me to handle them so I can chop them up and begin the, the canning process. So I shall return. All right, all of our ingredients are nice and cooled. I went on ahead and pulled out my food processor to chop everything up because I just don't feel like making that big of a mess. Figured it'd be a lot easier just to put it in here. And as I chop it down, just go ahead and stick it in my pot that I have over here on the stove because we will have to warm these ingredients up for 10 minutes. Um, we're going to speed through this part because I don't know if you can hear me well with this fan. So 
Let's get into it. All right, I went on ahead and put everything in the pot except for the additional ingredients that we didn't add into the food processor. So here we have a teaspoon of salt. So that will go in. We have two tablespoons of brown sugar. And we have three fourths cups of lime juice. And the cilantro we will add in at the very end. So from here, we will allow everything to kind of come to a simmer for 10 minutes. And then we will begin packing these in our jars. Oh, this is what she looking like. It looks delicious. It's a little bit more on the pureed side which I don't mind as far as salsas are concerned. I feel like it's easier to pick up a little bit on your chip or like with like a little scoopy thing or whatever. So yeah, like I said, this is gonna go for 10 minutes. Just wanted to give you guys the overhead view before it gets simmering. All right, so at this point, we are going to add in our cilantro. We're gonna turn the heat off, it's been 10 minutes. Add our cilantro in, and this is just one cup chopped. Move that out of the way. I love cilantro, so when they say cilantro is in any sort of recipe, I'm adding the max amount. I know some people really don't enjoy cilantro if you don't obviously you can leave it out I don't think that this really messes with the, the canning process too much what really matters is the salt and the sugar content so now that that is happy let's cover this up for right now because we need to pull our jars out of here I'm going to turn the heat up so this can begin to come to a full boil so we can begin the canning process. So I have two different type, type of jars here. Ooh, that's hot. I have these jelly jars, which I wanted to like gift to like friends and families. And then we also have a regular old pint jar. Here. So I have two of those and four of the little jelly jars. And I want to fill these first. So. so I am not the most swift with my tongue usage. It is what it is. So let's go ahead and cover the water back up. I went on ahead and cleaned my lids off already. So I typically just wash these after I've used them already. So these are clean. They've been stored away properly. Um, so now let's begin to ladle in our salsa. And you wanna leave, I wanna say the recipe said a half inch or an inch. I'll have to double back and check and we'll, we'll move around accordingly. All right, so at this point, you wanna make sure that you get any bubbles that are in the jars out. 
by giving it like a stir around the sides and then just like kind of poke around in the middle. And again, I wanna say this recipe called for about a half inch head space. So one of these jars are just filled a little too much. So I am gonna scoop just a little bit out of there just to make sure that we have proper head spacing. Just to be on the safe side because we do not want our jars to ooze. I'm just going to put it back in the pot here. Rather safe than soft. You guys, that's so good. All right. So now, oh my gosh, that's good. All right. So mm, I'm glad that I got some over some leftover in the pot because I'm about to bust the chips out, baby. Yay. All right, so now I'm just using some white vinegar to wipe off the rim of each jar. You want to get a good seal on all of these so they can stay shelf stable. That is the whole point in canning so you don't have to use up space in your refrigerator or whatever making a mess here. All right, so let's pop one of these lids. And I got two pints and three of these jelly jars. I wanna say there's four or six, no, there's six ounces in each of these, I wanna say. I think I'm right, I don't know. So let's go ahead and place our rings on. Finger tight. to a boil. Move it in a little closer so you can see what's going on. I have my rack up so I have easy access to placing these in here. I could drop them all the way down and that'll kind of help prevent me from like dropping some over but I think I should be good. Here it goes, down it goes. And then also, if you guys would like to see how I bake or make sourdough and keep up with my sourdough starter, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. And again, this process is for 20 minutes. I just set my timer and we will be back to pull out the finished product. All right, so let's do a quick taste test of this salsa because baby, I have been waiting outside of the one little taste that I took. Y'all seen that one, but I want to get this baby on a chip. So let me grab some. All right, we got chips. So let's dip up in this. Y'all, I'm excited. This is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
this is gonna be a banger at the party that I plan on throwing real soon. So, in addition to this salsa, I'm in a canning mood. Let's do some quick pickles because I have these pickles that I need to handle. Um, later for you. All right, so. I got some quick pickles that I need to get handled real quick. I have some little, what are these called? You hear that sweet sound? You probably didn't hear because it's fan, and I'm sorry about that. But um, when you hear that popping, that's all good stuff. That means everything is sealing properly. Ooh, yes. So I have some cucumbers. The only cucumbers coming out of my garden right now are the pickle bush variety which is I want to say it was burpee seeds if I'm correct I don't know um, but these were the only cucumbers that have produced so far and that plant is actually on its way out so I'm really excited to get the other ones that I started in the ground so I can get more cucumbers I need pickles and I just like I like cucumbers for juicing for eating fresh etc so I have about five here so I'm just gonna mix up a quick brine. I went on ahead and cleaned out just two pint jars. I used the wide mouth just for easy grabbing. Um, so basically, quick pickles. It's, it's really like however you wanna do it. I do one to two uh, ratio with water and vinegar. So I'm just gonna use one cup of distilled water here. Let me position you guys so you can actually see. I'm doing here there we go all right so let's do one cup of water Set that to the side a half a cup of vinegar And then I need one tablespoon of salt. And I like using the Morton's canning and pickling salt. And I'm gonna make a mess, so I'm gonna do this over my sink. All right, that's going in. Like so, like that. All right, I'm about to get my tablet for one on the wall. And then one teaspoon of sugar, which is behind you guys, but it's a pretty big container, so and I don't want to make a big fuss out of it, but one teaspoon of sugar. And I probably should have just done this all with a saucepan, but that's okay. I'm gonna spray this out so make sure we get all of those granules. So as that warms up, I already cut up a bit of garlic, put really like one clove each. I have some dill flowers from the garden, just pop those in there obviously. I washed, cleaned, everything is clean and sanitary. We're going to add the peppercorns in towards like once this like dissolves and gets a little warmer. But let's go on ahead and cut up our cucumbers. And I want to say, I'm going to do spears. Let me drop you lower so you can see. Because this is really an easy thing that you can do as far as preserving some cucumbers, obviously. You don't have to go through the whole canning process. So if that's something that is like a bit overwhelming for you, I totally understand. I empathize with you, but I promise you, you can do it. What I did not do was cut off the ends. That's okay. I'll do better. Let's go around. Okay. 
how cute. So I'm getting about these will shrink down a little bit to like dissolve some. So this is one and a half in here. So I will have one left over, which is totally fine. But really the point of me sharing this portion of this video with you guys is just to show you like how easy this can be like I'm not anybody that's like super advanced as far as canning is concerned I'm still mainly as you can see just water bath canning but you can do it I promise you if I can do it you can do it all right so I do have a little bit more space to put this little pinky one up in here and this one is a little wrinkled but that's okay we're going to use him anyways we love him regardless he'll be delicious so let's jam him up in there so this was perfect so if you have just small harvests don't be afraid to just you know make it work for you so we just have two quarts here prepped and ready to go the liquid is getting a little warmer, which is good. We do want it to come up to a simmer at least before we pour it over our cucumbers here. And I like a really simple recipe, so this does not have to be complicated if you don't want it to be. Obviously, if you like spicy pickles, you can add peppers in here. If you want to add some mustard seed, you can do that. Um, coriander would be really good. Ooh, actually, I'm going to add that in there. So. All right, boom, coriander going down in there as well. And I'm just pinching a little bit up in there because coriander can be a bit of a stronger flavor. At this point, let's go ahead and pop in our peppercorns in our liquid because it's beginning to come to a simmer. So let's allow for those flavors to just kind of meld together. And I will be back once I'm pouring this over. All right, just for the ease of it all, I went on ahead and put our liquid, our hot liquid for brine. We should call it a brine because that's what it is. Um, went on ahead and put this back in here just for easy pouring and boom it is really this dang simple and with refrigerator pickles you don't have to worry too much about headspace obviously you just want everything to be covered so I'm gonna make sure I get everything covered as good as possible it looks like have like a little bit wanting to peak up but like I said that's okay because as these like kind of soak in it will shrink down a little bit so actually ooh, that tastes good already I'm just going to cut them off like that and we'll have little bits there we go Right, I went on ahead and cleaned off some lids. And there we have it. Some quick pickles. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video. At this point, I need to clean my kitchen. My kitchen is a mess. Ooh. I can do better as far as like cleaning up as I go, but I had other things to do, shout out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure that you hit this with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you have any other suggestions or things that you would like to see as far as I got cut off, my phone was full. Anyways, I was saying, if you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comment section below. I thank you all so much for stopping by. I wish you all health, wealth, and prosperity. And until the next time, peace out.